Did you have any apprehension with um, going to Millwall, just like reputation of the fans? No. I, I, I couldn't get enough of it from the start. Yeah, yeah. From 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 the get go, I I just was lapping it up straight away. I don't think the bad. I don't think the bad to the, their own players though, either. Well, if they're doing well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you if you're up against it, mate. Like if, you know, yeah. we, we've all like I've I've had kind of a bad spells in my wall, and they fucking they just want to kill you. Do you know what I mean? I remember I remember throwing throwing one of the many in, and um, <laughs> <laughs> and just getting a like um, like a program lashed on my head, like when I was in the back of the net, because it's kind of close to me. I'm just fucking yeah. you fucking cunt. I think I'm fucking hell. But it's like it's it's many have said it, but if you can play at Millwall and you can you can not impress as well, I suppose impress is the right way, but if you can handle a Millwall crowd, you can pretty much handle anywhere, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 I do believe that because since Millwall I've been I've played a lot of places, I've been to a lot of grounds in in, in, in and watch football and it's pretty unique Millwall I think at the moment because I think every other ground has kind of fallen away. Or or or, or um, more modernised than you, like, well, following that modern football. Yeah, yeah. modernised. Like you know, I've, 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 I'm, I've, it's well documented. I've said it lots of times, but you know, sterile, um, manufactured yeah. football these days. And you don't go to Millwall unless you're a Millwall fan. And I mean, yeah. you know, you don't fly. No, in. There's no tourists at Millwall. No, there? no, there's, there's no tourism no at Millwall. Scarves. No, there's none at all. I mean, not. It's not like drums. There's not like clappers and all that. Like, if you've got a clapper out of my wall, you, <laughs> you get a clap right back Yeah, in you just, you, 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 you disappear, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and that was like, that was the, um, that, that was the, the, the thing that, that I really liked about the place. And, and like, like I said, every, everyone else now is, is kind of going towards like, you know, kind of worrying about like, like having a nice, safe environment for yeah. football and all that. And I'm look, I'm, I, you know, I'm not looking for World War Three or nothing, but I think a bit of aggression in your home stadium to intimidate people isn't a bad thing because it sometimes works mm. so remember last year it was Leicester played in, played him in, in the cup and the lad complained that he didn't want to go and pick the ball up off the pitch because he felt threatened by the fans now they, they weren't they weren't on the pitch they weren't over the wall they were standing there giving him loads of stick and he didn't want to go and walk and get that ball now we will beat Leicester now I think that will have been a bit of an would have had an effect on him, yeah. And you know, and rightly or wrongly, if if, if you're a player, you can't handle that. More, well, more feel you. The, the fans have, have won. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And Millwall's like that, and it, it it can be a bit of a powder keg sometimes, and it can be intense. It's not as intense as the old time. I've never been the old time, but I've heard I've, I obviously know a lot of people from Millwall. And they said the old time was a lot worse. Um, but I've been down the den a few times this season, and it, it's absolutely brilliant. It, it, the atmosphere is brilliant, and it's like old school, and it's like you know, there's, there's loads. Fucking swearing going on, there's loads of kind of like shouting and and like roaring and you know you, you, I, I've been to some Premier League grounds over like you know the, the last few years. Diluted. Just diluted, just, and you're sitting there sometimes. You, you think to yourself right, like how come it's just really so so quiet, so you silent? Can you, you can get your popcorn delivered to your seat now at Anfield. Mm. You can get on the West yeah. popcorn to football. Oh, yeah. 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 You, you can get on your, steak and kidney, you get your app. And really? you, you get your popcorn and your drink delivered yeah. to your seat. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I, I just don't like all that. And like, I've sat in a few boxes, like, like that, that new stand at Anfield is like amazing. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's something else. And I was lucky enough to get in, the, in one of the boxes. Um, Gav McCann knows someone from um, um, New Balance, and they've got a box there. And I, I've been in smaller flats in London. Do you know what I mean? Like, it had like a big, um, like a big um, kitchen area. The steaks, you wouldn't want to fall off them, they were massive. <laughs> the food was super. Don't mind fucking falling onto one. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and like, it, it, it was just brilliant. It was super, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, it was nice to go in and see and, and see that, but I wouldn't want to go and watch football in that way very often. It was nice to go there, don't get me wrong, you want to go every now and again. But if I had to go and watch the football like that every Saturday, and if, I, I wouldn't want to know how much that cost. It must be, would it cost, could it cost you 100 grand a year? Would it cost as much as that, maybe? Be up there, yeah. I would have thought so. For a box, if yeah. easy. Yeah. If, uh, if it's owned by a company. Yeah. I'm tipping more than that, to be and, fair, because if, if it fits 20 people in, yeah, you're probably, like, to talk, oh, talk to 150 quid an head. 
And yeah. Yeah. But the way that they say it, yeah. see it as well, it's the deals that they do while they're in the box, True. taking, you know, wine and dining people, getting yeah. the deal mm. to to come and watch Liverpool and experience something. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, it's, it's all about kind of money and, and competing these days. I understand that, um, and that's what they've maybe got to do. And it's maybe you can't put the genie back in the bottle now. But I wouldn't really want to go and watch football like that on, on a regular basis. Um, I'd rather be in the stands uh, and, and you know and, and, and watching it in uh, an organic environment. Because now I think it was a couple of years ago they were at, they were at Old Stafford saying they want to get the people out of a certain area who've had season tickets there for like yeah. fucking years. And you want to start a singing section. Now, once you start, once you've got to start doing that, Segregating. football's kind of finished. Because if you've got to like manufacture yeah. uh, like a chant, yeah. that, this, f- f- football was all about kind of you know the little spark off the cuff bang, yeah. and then a chant starts, and you know it's it, it's fantastic. So that's the you know to you know sort of take a long way to explain it, but Millwall's not like that. Yeah. <laughs>